the, the question for those that didn't hear it was about Iran and the fact that they're enriching uranium and, and, and on track to build a nuclear weapon of some kind. And, and I, hope, um, I hope we recognize the difference between Iran with a nuclear weapon and the former Soviet Union. In, in, in the days of the past, we had two great nations, ourselves and the Soviet Union, with nuclear weapons and a, and a strategy known as mutually assured destruction, which is if one person attacked the other, why we'd both all disappear in, 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 a, in a cloud of, uh, uh, of radiation. And, and as a result, uh, we both knew that that would not happen because we would neither one want to be completely obliterated. Iran is in a different position. They are, number one, suicidal. They're mullahs. And Ahmadinejad talk about a suicidal society. They talk about using nuclear weapons. They refer to Israel as a one-bomb nation. This is the orientation of, the, of this nation. They also supply Hamas and Hezbollah and other terror groups with, with weapons. They are, by virtue of supplying those weapons, they are complicit in killing our servicemen and women in Iraq and in Afghanistan. And therefore, a nuclear Iran is not acceptable to us or to the world. And, and so when you talk about what we, you know, when do we need to get serious, about five years ago, we need, to get, we, need to be, we need to put in place crippling sanctions against Iran, and there are a whole host of, of ways of doing that, but crippling sanctions, the president hasn't done that. How is it? Three years in, I remember when he was campaigning, he said he would, uh, in his first year, go visit with Ahmadinejad. And Ahmadinejad, you know, the, you know he held out an open hand, Ahmadinejad, Ahmadinejad just slapped him. And, uh, and then he, uh, Ahmadinejad continued to go his, his merry way. The president should have put in place crippling sanctions, number one. Number two, we should have active efforts to support uh, dissent within the nation. When, when, when protesters took to the streets in Iran, our president had nothing to say. He said he didn't want to interfere with the, with the politics of another nation. This is the leader of the free world. We speak for freedom. Of course he should have spoken. And then we also have to create our military options. And so they know that we have the capacity to prevent them from pursuing their, their course of destruction. Those are the things I will do. I can't tell you when that military action would have to be taken. I hope never. I, I, the, the decision to, to employ kinetic uh, and, and military action, uh, men and women in, in, uh, in uniform going into battle in a foreign place, uh, that decision is a very difficult decision with a very high hurdle. I would not make that decision easily. Uh, but I can tell you that, that uh, in my view, we have to have options prepared militarily and otherwise to prevent Iran from, uh, from presenting a, a threat to us and to our friends throughout the world. Thank you.